Hi guys, this is Fanchi and uh, I wanted to vlog for you a video. Uh, why I'm vlogging is just because I really don't have time to prepare a tutorial right now. I'm very busy with work. So I just figured that like I should um, show you what equipment I'm taking for traveling when I have to uh, travel too great. So um, I, why I say this is just because I'm in Vietnam right now. I'm grading a few jobs in Vietnam. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you like uh, what is the equipment I'm using. Uh, it's really compact. I just take the essential. Uh, but I think it's quite good if I show you. <laughs> okay, uh, I just like turn the camera and uh, show you everything. So here you go. This is the setup. I'm sorry for uh, the green grass, but like I don't want to show you anything that I'm grading. So I just like put uh, some green grass footage. Sorry for the for the green cast. And I'm sorry also for the AC that is quite uh, loud. I hope like you can hear my voice. We start with the star of the show, which is the micro panel. The black magic micro panel it's very convenient because it's very very tiny i can like fit it in my hand carry luggage if you want to carry your black magic micro panel inside the hand carry just be careful with the shocks i would recommend to put some foam you know for to just to protect a bit your your panel i travel a few times with it it works fine and I mean like normally with a hand carry as like you always have your hand carry it shouldn't have any problems I'm continuing with my uh, nice iPad this iPad I also use it back home to display my scopes I just find like for the scopes this size is uh, sufficient and it's nice because it doesn't take that much space when I travel so here it is because i am traveling with a laptop i use an app called duet air because normally like you can't uh, link without an app an ipad with a pc so i use an external app to link it uh, together and it's working very fine here you have my backup so this one is a seagate backup plus this is actually a pretty nice backup. Always when I'm receiving some uh, some projects, I really like to back it up just in case, you know. So every of my projects are backed up. So this one, this, this HDD is good. Not as fast, but I just feel like for the price, it's pretty nice because it's a HDD that is very affordable. So yeah, I, I find it very good for travel. And here you have my nice laptop. <laughs> this laptop is a brand that is not very known in the western side of the world. It's from the brand Level 51. I think they changed the name and it's called Aftershock now. So this brand is pretty nice because they give you some customizable laptops. So high performance laptop that you can customize. Yeah, so in this laptop i have nvidia graphic card i don't really remember the model i will just ask monica my editor to put the model somewhere here so i have an nvidia plus i have 16 gigabytes of ram which is actually okay so i can i can like play back on footages quite easily like for example i just had a project where Ari footage and phantom footage everything was working pretty fine to to play back so i i really recommend this kind of laptop it's really nice i mean like if you base in southeast asia just like go for aftershock like really it's it's a very very good brand i recommend a lot and this is my grading monitor this grading monitor is actually an entry range monitor because 
I have a grading monitor back home that is a bit higher range but I didn't want to bring it because it's very huge oh hey iPad <laughs> what are you doing because it's very huge and I just fear if like for example something happened you know of my nice monitor inside the luggage <laughs> So then like I, I use an uh, entry level uh, monitor. This one is a Asus PA279CV, if I'm not mistaken. Pro art, pro art, yeah. It's it's pretty nice actually because uh, for, for the price, I just find that like I can do most of my grade. So you can't grade in HDR normally, I mean like it has a HDR mode, but I, I never use it because I just uh, find that HDR is not very stable, I think. Oh no, actually, like, uh, I, I just can't enable the HDR on this, actually. Yeah, so, so this monitor is pretty nice, you know, for everything that is SDR. Uh, it's working quite fine. After calibration, you know, like I, I just I just find that like my work can be good enough. So also to travel, I brought with me the Calibrite. I mean, it's not it's called Calibrite now. Uh, before it was called like a uh, one Y one X right, but now their brand is called Calibrite. So I brought the calibrate with me to uh, calibrate every of my monitors when I arrived. Also, like just to, to add something on this ACES. So I could put it inside my luggage uh, in check-in baguette, uh, check-in luggage, sorry. Uh, I was really scared about this. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna lie, but like wrapping it very well and putting some foam and making everything tight it went through everything and like just like came out like super good i have no shock anywhere and it's working very fine so yeah i'm quite satisfied it could fit in my luggage and that's perfect this is like what we want when we travel yeah so this is uh, the round of everything so you can see my desk is very tiny <laughs> compared to uh, uh, my home, but like, yeah, we are, we are working with this. I hope that you liked what I'm bringing, you know, for work. And I hope to see you next week. See ya.